Hello, David. So, here we have our VNC port that we put on there. And here's your uh, uh, VNC jumper. That's what it's going to look like. And it goes straight up into the O-scope. That's your uh, 2246 there. All right. And everything else is pretty much the same, except uh, over here, we did some modifications to the audio board for the demodulator. And uh, we did some mods also over here as you can see and uh, this is the AM muting circuit down here that transistor the diode and resistor there uh, for the meter so that's the rear so here we've connected the BNC that's going to go to the oscope to monitor the uh, modulation waveform we've connected our headphones uh, line in and our antenna and, uh, we have our peak meters uh, this one here it's a uh, 50 watt slug so we'll be looking at that middle scale at 50 and this one has a 250 watt slug uh, and we'll be looking at the top scale So, we'll go ahead and power up the whole scope. Uh, power up uh, one of these radios. Um, and we'll position this guy in a way that uh, we can manage both front and rear controls. Okay, um, we've uh, positioned both, uh, I'm going to show you. My RF pickup device is sitting behind those meters and it uses a VNC just like this and it's coming into here. This is channel one. Channel one is this light here. Channel two is this is this light here. If I put channel two, that's channel two. And as you can see, <clears throat> I can move channel two up and down here. Or channel one up and down. But we want to keep it right in the middle both of them right there and uh, we're gonna turn off later on we'll do that for now we're gonna just turn off uh, two and just use one which is my RF output device and we're gonna we, we put all the controls <clears throat> in the back all three uh, modulation asymmetry and carrier all counterclockwise so we're gonna start from scratch <clears throat> Let's say you want a two watt dead, okay? Um, two watts is the first two little divisions there on the left. So, um, let's see if I can hold this here. Um, right. So I'll key up. I'll key up. And I'm going to race up my carrier. Let's say two watts, right? Two watts, so. <clears throat> we put it at two watts, right there. Now, we come to the O scope, and at this point, we can see we're not covering two divisions, or barely, or about three quarters of the way. So, what we want to do there is <clears throat> we want to, while we transmit, what I need to do here is to cover both there both uh, <clears throat> divisions right there so that, that a reference is said that means we have a 2 watt carrier and we have our 2 watt carrier okay so um, <clears throat> now what we do is we put the modulation on we're gonna go here on Pro Tools and we're gonna put the tone on all right, now we transmit. I built this little jig here uh, to transmit. So 
now when I transmit, you can see we have a little bit of audio there. Audio, but uh, not enough. So what we got to do there is raise up the audio and the back here, our modulation control. Okay, so here we're transmitting and we just have a little bit of audio. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna come here and in my modulation, I'm gonna bring it up. So I get my 100% modulation, which is right there. <clears throat> one division up from our carrier and one division down from our carrier our, is our uh, positive peaks and our negatives are from that line to here. Those are our negative peaks. So our negative peaks are there, positive peaks are here. Okay, so <clears throat> so you can see the... the um, the similarities and your RF pickup device in mine will turn on channel 2 it's gonna be off uh, adjustment but it's, uh, there we'll take off one now and that's two, that's yours, right there. When we unkey, there, key up, and take off the tone. Right there. I'm oh, sorry. Sound right, right? So, there you go. So basically, once you have that achieved, once you modulate, you have your 100% modulation. All you got to do is bring up your asymmetry a little bit higher. And it's just a touch now. You want to come up about another half of the division, about there. You could, you could actually hear it get louder on the headphones when the asymmetry goes up. You'll put the asymmetry down. The symmetry is normal, 100%, and look how louder it gets when you go to 150%. <clears throat> so there it is. Now let's leave it there at 150. So there, you're set for two watts. That Now you just talk, and that's it. Make sure you don't exceed your whatever power you see here, because that's going to be... Uh, your uh, your maximum PEP that right there is um, let's see uh, your, that's about 11 watts about 11 watts uh, from a 2 watt carrier uh, is your 150 percent modulation so let's unkey now let's unkey take off the tone let's say you want a 5 watt dead key uh, you can go to high power. Let's switch to, uh, switch to high power. And we don't need to. We could still do this at low power, but you're not going to have that much headroom. Uh, let's flip the switch here in the back to high power. And uh, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to come here. And we're going to transmit. So we're on high power. We key down and we find the radio doing... Uh, about 30 watts of dead key. That's not what we want. So we're gonna go ahead and lower down the dead key to those five watts we wanted. We're on the middle scale there. So five watts is right between 10 and zero. Right here. Right there. Five watts. Next thing we do is we come here and we make sure we only cover two divisions. Now we're using your uh, RF <coughs> decoupler here uh, on channel two, this one. So we're gonna adjust yours here to cover two divisions. Right there. Right there, it's fine. And we'll start the tone. Oops, you see uh, we're way above everything. By the way, this sound is coming out of the headphones that is coming out of your uh, monitor. 
okay that's the so it's it's working <laughs> uh all right so let's lower that the monitor a little bit because it's quite loud okay so there we have our five watt reference on the scope two divisions five watts on the meter and the first thing we're going to do i like to put everything back down counterclockwise all the controls a, a symmetry uh, carrier and modulation and uh, start by bringing up our carrier to 5 watts okay next thing we do again we go we start the sig gen and there we have our barely modulated carrier and then we'll come here and race up our modulation control until we see 100% modulation which is right there now we could add a little bit of asymmetry and bring it to about 150 right there and there we are now we have a 5 watt carrier swinging to about 33 watts okay that's simple you're ready to talk there if you want more dead key you could race it up bring it up to 10 watts if you want to and do the same procedure again fairly simple now by the way this is what the mbox mini looks like the controls right there and i'm using uh the w1 uh the w1 session there Um, what else was I going to show you? Um, oh, okay. If I turn on the uh, the mic, bypass the tone, open the mic, audio, audio, one, two, audio, audio, one, two, audio, one, two, three, four, audio, one, two, three, four, audio, one, two. Okay. Uh, here you can hear me through the headphones. Uh, audio, audio, one, audio, one, two, three, four, audio, one, two, three, four, five. I don't know how that sounded, but anyways, uh, we're gonna unkey, unkey the uh, the radio, and we're gonna talk into the mic. And as you can see, I'm talking into the mic. Audio uh, one two one two one two, and the modulation is not moving. Audio uh, one two, test one two, test one two. So that's fixed too. So that's pretty much it. I think uh, it's time to pack it. Uh, I'm gonna adjust it uh, before before I pack it. Uh, two watt dead key on low power, uh, about 150% modulation. All right. Oh, one more thing, the sideband. So um, as you can see, let's see. Let's we're on AM and we're gonna transmit. Uh, audio one two three four. Hello audio. Uh, audio one two three four. Test one two. There's a five watts going to about thirty watts, and we'll switch to sideband. And when we talk, audio one two, audio one two. You can see audio one two three four, audio one two three four. Audio. It's about 150 watts there on the top scale. Audio one two three four five. So no need to. Uh, um, adjust anything on there. Yeah, what you just heard there in the background probably was the headphones. The headphones was picking up the sideband demodulation and, and that didn't sound good because sideband has to have a special type of demodulator. Alright, so that's it, Dave.